Hi, it's Sulia again. Um, we just finished our act, our first acting um, training session, and it was so fun. I love the acting portion. I love acting. I think that's my favorite of the three. Actually, I love singing quite a lot, but and acting a song is pretty magical. But I feel the strongest in acting. Um, so we did cold readings for, from different musical scripts and cold readings are when, uh, are what auditioners use to get a barometer on like your reading of a scene. So they're chunks of the script, little scenes, um, that you read without having a lot of information about them and ha usually never having read it before and you usually don't get to really talk to your scene partner and or um, read it through once even. So a lot of the time you're like, just trying to get in sync with like the script. Um, and so for um, a lot of places, you are just thrown into a role that you might even be like a, the opposite gender or they just want to see what you can do with the part. And it was really, it was really cool this week. I mean, I've done a lot of cold readings. I'm mostly a state, like a play actor. I mostly do plays in my life, so I do a lot of auditions with cold reads. They are tough. I much prefer getting the scene beforehand. I much prefer reading the whole play. I'm like, I wanna know this person before I even get in the room. Um, so it was cool though. We, I, we learned a lot, I think. Three things that I thought were really important to learn were that the first audition that you have is to just prove that you are clear and sane and clean. That you can just connect and listen and respond and then just be you almost through this character. You're not, you don't need to do like a crazy thing to prove that you are like valid. Um... A lot of the time, it's they'll trust in you that you can do that, and then at the callback, they will. You have to trust them that they will bring that out of you. Um, another thing that I thought was really important to like really focus on in an audition scenario was that Gary was really punctuating Gary Briggle, who was our teacher. Um, he was really punctuating that you are acting for your scene partner. You're not acting for you. And while I know that, it's so nice to have that like reconfirmed within me because you often forget that like in an audition you're not there for you sometimes you just need to be there for them so that because that's why people are in spaces with one another most of the time but giving to your scene partner is like the best thing you can do and then I think the last thing that I really needed to hear again was that when you're looking at a cold read to really break down the beats of the scene and that will be really useful to like drive your energy for forward um yeah i played cinderella and it was really fun and i really love that character and i think that musical needs to be done again oh, someone cast me um but it was hard to connect, like, right off the bat with your scene partner. You're like, we haven't discussed this. <sighs> it was also challenging to, like, remember that you can, you, you just need to do the work the way that you want to do it. That was what was challenging. It's just remembering that. And that if you match with those people, it's the best. And other scenarios, you probably aren't fit to work with them anyways. Although it's lovely to get a job. It's really the best when you work and gel with people really well.